But I'm popping like a Kardashian. Huh. Pretty and ratchet. Pretty and ratchet. Pretty and ratchet. Hi guys! Oh god, wait. We're blurry. Okay. Yeah. Hi guys! Hey! It's me and Yasmin. Yasmin Pink. Yasmin Pink. And basically, guys, we're gonna do like a little chit chat slash interview, and we're gonna have two parts. So this one's only gonna be ten minutes, and then if you want to see the rest of it, because it's gonna be a really juicy subject, really, really juicy. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. So uh, the rest is gonna be on Yasmin's, like core. The, the majority of the ch conversation is gonna be on Yasmin's channel. So make sure you subscribe to her. Yeah. So subscribe, subscribe to my channel. It's Yasmin Pink. Um. So what we're gonna be talking about, for those that don't know, uh, we're gonna talk about the time that I went to prison. Oh my god, how old was I when I went to prison? Do they, do anyone know this? You know more time um, to look into there, you know. You can look at it a little bit sometimes to see what you look like. But <laughs> it looks weird when you're watching it back. No, don't worry, my eyes are fucked anyway, so I can't see that okay. that far. Um, yeah, people know, like obviously my family, my friends, people that maybe have grown up with me, like that are still in my life now, would know. But nobody in the public knows. I wouldn't say it's public knowledge, like the kind of platform I have now. Yeah. Um, because it's just not the same. But yeah, like, yeah, I don't know. Not, I guess no one knows, isn't it? No one really knows. Um, it's not something you will scream about it every single day. Like, yeah, nah, I went jail, went jail, went jail, like, so. Yeah, but then it's important to like, because so many people go through things alone and quiet. Because mm. some people are ashamed of stuff. Would you say it's something that you feel ashamed of? I feel like, um, actually, no. Nah, I'm not gonna say I'm ashamed of jail. The reason I'm not gonna say I'm ashamed of jail because if I hadn't gone to jail, I don't think I would have made some of the decisions that I made to better myself or push myself in a direction where I was just on a better path, basically. Yeah, 100. I had to go to jail because prior to jail, I was just a nuisance. I was a nuisance on the roads. Like I was a nuisance. Like I thought I was man there. I thought I, was, <laughs> you know, I thought I could do this and do that. I wanted to make money. I weren't trying to stay at home. At my, like I weren't living at home in it. Like I moved out of my mum's house from like seventeen. Not 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 because she requested me to. Do you know what I mean by choice? So like I chose to live an unnecessary lifestyle that eventually like okay I was doing the most. And I rate you. Yeah. I rate you for doing this because I just feel like it's really brave of you because you're opening up about something that is taboo. At the end of the day, there's loads of things in our society that are taboo, like women are supposed to carry themselves in a particular way. So yeah. when you're 100% real on your platform and you keep it authentic, like you're doing, and you're telling people about something that some people will, at the end of the day, some people are gonna have a negative opinion on it. Mm -mm -mm. But at the end of the day, no one's perfect. People just like to keep quiet about things they've done and stuff so I rate you for it I think I've always been just waiting till I was on also a bigger platform to talk about it because um the reason another reason why I don't say oh I've been to jail I've been to jail because it, it helped me um do so much better for myself like I would rather if people ask me about it I'm telling them in a way like don't feel sorry for me like don't don't ask me questions like see it as like I changed in so many ways like Oh, when I was in jail, I was not doing the things. I, I might have got into one or two little scuffles or whatever, but the majority of the time I was there... Anything less, the, mate. <laughs> the majority of the time that I was there, like, I was on good behaviour, do you know what I mean? Okay. Like, I was on good behaviour, like... Yo, I basically went jail about a good... Maybe... Eight years ago. Okay. But I thought I was untouchable. I knew so many people then, innit? Like from so many different areas. I felt like so many people would have my back. You know what I mean? I, babe, I wouldn't even listen. Do you want to know what name I was going by back in the day? Well, fam. <laughs> fam, I used to go, I used to go by a name called Chanel George. <laughs> That's a baddie name. Fam! That's a baddie name. How about this shit? You see when I'm when I went on to back chat, yeah, to this day, there are people that still call me Nella. Really? Mums. Even though they know my name, they've seen me on back chat, they know yeah. that my real name is there now. Yeah. Yasmin. Because they, they know, they knew me from, like, when I say, this is like when I was 16, 17. Yeah. I, went, I went jail, like, when I was maybe 18, 19. No, sorry, 19. 19, 20. Mm. Well, 19, 20, because I remember I went to uni. But yeah, just, it, was just, it was just mad. So, I, obviously, it's, it's closed now, but I went to HMP Holloway. Mm-hmm. 
um, all all women's gel. Okay. Um, what did it feel like when you when you got arrested? Actually, I was prepared for the arrest because my mum had called me to let me know that they'd gone to her house. Right looking for me that there was like five feds so i was scared i was young and so i knew they were coming for me so i, I waited at home innit? like i knew like a couple of days later they came through and whatever you didn't go give yourself in nah 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 i didn't see the point um I, I, not even i didn't see the point but like f five officers i was a bit scared i was young yeah five officers at my mum's house like yeah. i was even scared to just speak to my mum about it let alone do all the officers so eventually they came um they found me Wait, did you get the verdict in court yeah, yeah, like yeah. how it is on telly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but wait. So when they tell you, what? Okay, what do they say? They say you are guilty. Is that how they say? Nah, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't. Uh, so I was charged with something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's like there's a difference. There's two types of courts. You've got magistrates court and you've got crowns court. Now anyone, uh, I don't know if it's still the same now. Maybe it is. Anyone that goes to something called uh, magistrates court. You, you can get punished like fines, mm. maybe a bit of community service, mm. youth offenders, I don't know. But the maximum imprisonment time they can give you is basically um, 12 months, mm -hmm. maximum. You mm. can't do more than that. And how the system works here is 12 months in prison time, you only do half, okay. which is six months. So when I went to magistrate court, at that time, they felt like my crime was so bad, was so fucked. Mm. They felt like I didn't deserve 12 months. They felt like I deserved more. So they sent me crowns cool. Jeez. I said, oh, I, at that point, that's when I started shit myself. That was when I started shit myself. Like, crowns fucking cool. That's when you start seeing the judges with the fucking wigs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? I was just like, I, you know, I called my dad. You know what I mean? It was it was very... Obviously, my, my family was aware of everything. But at, at the at, when I was going to Magistrates Court, I was going by myself. Right. When I was going to Crowns Court, it was like, yeah, um... <laughs> Mum, dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like, wait, when you, when you, okay, so when you got the verdict, did you cry? Nah, I think I went off You're still gangster? It wasn't a gangster thing, I just couldn't believe it. Because the way the judge did me was, at the time, I was in, getting in trouble for this crime, I was doing all right, do you know what I mean? I had my own place, I was only 18 or 19, sorry, 19 or whatever, I had my own place, I was a, a senior sales assistant, I was on like nine pound an hour, I was in college studying uh, TV and film production. Like, so I was nice, you know what I mean? I had this nice, easy guy life. Me and my mum, we still had communication. Me and my dad, we still had communication, you know? I had a boyfriend then, life was easy. So what the judge did, yeah, he commended me for this great life that I have now. He said he commends me for this great life that I have now. And he was just like, he just doesn't understand um, why I'm doing so well in life, but I choose. Yeah. To commit these crimes yeah. or be involved with um, certain people. I, I can't explain now why I chose to do certain things, but because the judge couldn't understand why, he said, you've done it too many times, yes. Mm. So he was like, I want to thank you for the fact that you're working. I think that's good. I see that you're studying, your grades are good. You know, bloody, bloody, blah. So I'm, I'm all there looking at my dad now thinking, yeah, I'll we'll see you in a bit, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Seen a bit magic, you know what I mean? How about this? I didn't even bath that morning. How about that? I didn't bath that morning. I was so confident. I was coming so home. Case. Babe, listen, I even messaged my bridges BRB. This was, black, this was Blackberry days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I'll never forget. I turned my phone off. I got into court. This is when we used to do invisible parting. Yeah. You know what invisible parting was? When we used to like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. Oh, I'll never yeah, forget. Yeah. So imagine that's what I went to jail with. That's bonding. Wow. So... Sitting there nice. Was it 9 a.m. thing? Found the bath. That's what I thought that it was like, yeah, it was, it was a, an early thing. Yeah. And it was all the way wood green compared to, okay. to compared to where I was living. And I was young then, innit? Like my dad was meant to meet me there. He didn't even have time. There was no way he was gonna be able to pick me up and go there. It would be late. Mm. So I said, do you know what? It's even calm. Don't worry, man. We'll go there, you can drop me home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I'm gonna bus case anyway. Babe, I didn't even pack clothes. I didn't even pack clothes. I didn't pack clothes. I didn't pack clothes. My chica. You just took your phone with you? Fam. And your oyster? Fam. <laughs> and brush, my brush teeth at most. Because I didn't bath. That is sweet. I didn't bath. So I got there. But I was the, one of the first people they, they called in. So obviously I'm thinking, yeah, I'm definitely yeah, going to yeah, come yeah. back. <laughs> so after he's giving me all this, like, well done. 
um, well, I'm sorry to say, but you know, you've basically, I'm just gonna slap you a quick one year burner and um, we'll see you in six months. <laughs> I said to him, um, I look, I, you know when you're just like, you know like little Kim? I was just like, like oh, what? You know little Kim when she's doing like, yeah. I was just like looking around like, <laughs> like, I was so confused, I was just like, um, because at that time, sorry, I lied, he didn't say six months, he just said I'm going to jail for a year. Okay. And all I heard was one year. Yeah. So I, I, I just was confused, you guys think you're going to take me to jail for a year? And then they started escorting me out of that little, that little box that you're in. Yeah. And I was thinking, wait, what? I don't get to say bye or like, no, I don't get to say talk to my dad. What, what's going on? Fam, I didn't even get to say, I didn't even get to breathe near my dad. Like, that was it. Once he said one year, they took me downstairs. I started like panicking. I was like, I don't understand. You guys are throwing me inside jail for one year. Yeah. Then I think the guy did explain it to me. No, it's sick. Like, he tried to like explain it, but I was so lost at that point and this is now 9 a.m in the morning so they've thrown me in the cell they've given me food of is it a proper cell yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you're in real jail yeah the big thing no so courts have like holding cells okay, 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 okay. where they're gonna escort you okay like, cool, cool, when cool. they're gonna move you in it because you have to go in a car in it yeah so um i'm like literally I'm not taking no food you know i don't know what time it is i'm trying to sleep and every couple hours i'm waking up because i'm 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 like yeah, and you've got anxiety probably. This, yeah, I, I do in it. So, jail. Yeah. Yes. I'm waking up knowing that this, I'm going somewhere else, I'm not going home. Surreal. So imagine I'm not even at jail yet, and I'm already struggling sh with the environment that I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, like the fucking concrete. Was just, <laughs> the bed is concrete, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? So, anyways, I come knocked on the door, yeah, after I've probably, like, pro I, I probably even cried in that time. I couldn't believe it, like. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Getting arrested, yeah, you'll think is fucked. Yeah. Because they can keep that people have been in jail. I've been in jail before for over 24 hours. Over a fucking day. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, you just have to look at walls. I mean, they talk to you and offer you food and stuff. <laughs> they give you an update. Maybe, like, there's a bit of evidence they need to get. It depends on how severe the crime is. You can be in there for two hours. You can be... It depends if they're going to charge you or not. It, I don't know. It really, 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 really depends on it. So, um, um, my, my house has never been that bad in it. <laughs> so I just want to put that out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, so they've, they've t taken me out and they've put me in this, like, van. And obviously what I've gathered, I can't really see much in it. And what I've gathered is maybe they're picking up other girls from other courts. Okay. So my, my anxiety is just going off the roof. So like, what I'm thinking, bruv, like, I can't see what time it is either. Like, it's pitch black in this little box we're in there. Like, them vans that you see here, the, what we're sitting in is like a box. Now I'm popping like a Kardashian. Pretty, huh. pretty and ratchet, pretty and ratchet, pretty and ratchet.